back again. It's been raining, which is good for burning shit, even though all the wood is now wet, but we got a bunch of gasoline. The ground is softer than hell. I was going to bring the dirt bike today, and I didn't, and I'm not mad about it. I'm going to try and finish pulling this apart and burning it, and then pull this apart. I'm going to start a burn pile right here, knowing that this will all have gravel on it eventually. So if I burn the grass or there's nails and shit there, it's going to get covered. So that's the plan. I brought the quick creek tubes and some other supplies for when the fence does go in. I'm put that on hold for now. Never thought I'd have a use for electric hand trimmer, but this DeWalt thing is awesome. I'm gonna clear out all this pucker brush before spring hits and it all gets overgrown. Well, everything's soaking wet, so slowly trying to get the fire going with some dry wood from inside the woodshed. And once that gets going, I'll start trying to burn all this wet shit. It's so wet, it's falling apart. It's annoying. It's almost not even worth burning, honestly. We've got millions of centipedes in here, disrupting their breeding ground. Here's a little trick, get your shop back. The hose on the exhaust. Get your funnel out. Okay, get the fire going. Yeah.
we just found. I'm gonna use these for the storage container. Look at those cinder blocks. Hopefully there's one more. I need four total. And look at that. It's wood stove number eight. Or seven or eight. No door on it. That's a shame. Let's see what other treasures we find in here. More garbage bins. Those are useful. Looks like some metal. That looks like a base to a wood stove. Something's broken on it. Tons of concrete that I can't use because it's fucking been saturated with water. Well, slowly working through this. Got two fires going now, which is good because I got a lot of shit to burn. This wood stove, uh, I'm not gonna pull it out yet. I gotta get some more scrap out. Picking through all this shit, there's just so much debris. Try and burn what we can. to the horse. This thing's pretty cool. Hang this up in a cabin. I nicked it with the Sawzall when I was cutting through this stuff a month ago. I'm not too happy about that, but still, still a good saddle. Good little viewing piece. I'm gonna put this in the sun. iron is not light.
Well, the rain just came through for a little bit. I'm surprised we didn't get a rainbow. Um, I'm making great progress. I, as you can see, the pole barn's finally gone. Chester's home is no more. Um, more scrap metal, more burning. And best part, got a wood pile finally for the salvageable wood. It's been the biggest challenge for me to figure out where to move everything because the storage container and the area where I will put all the metal and extra stuff will be here. But I didn't want to bring it too far like I did with the sheet metal, which is easy to drag, but the wood, I figured to bring it right there. And then when we peel apart the wood shack attached to the crack shack trailer, the wood pile I have is right there. So I just rip those walls off, feed it through, and stack it on the pile. So I am very happy with today's progress. Solo day, day 18. Woo! There is a rainbow. It's awesome. Beautiful out. Well, as you can see, this was all covered earlier today. There's tons of wood, all gone. I don't know what kind of plant that is, but I kept it because I feel, I feel like it's going to be cool. I left this little baby tree. Fire burning. This is all concrete. Unfortunately, it's all absorbed water, so it's going to end up this i guess it's just a little gravel though for the ground which is cool well it's been a good day probably the most productive solo day i had up here um just cleared and burned a lot and finally got a wood pile going and the pole barn's just pretty much gone it is gone i mean the infrastructure for it's gone now there's just a bunch of miscellaneous debris beneath it which needs to be burned and Everything's coming together. Found some giant cinder blocks that'll be good base stones for the 40 foot storage container. Um, yeah, just coming along well. I wanted to spend the night tonight, but got a lot of work done and it's going to start pouring rain and I need to get back to Chester. So I'm going to head back to town and day 18 was a big success. Pretty stoked. <laughs> there it seems that you made it to the end of my video i appreciate you greatly for watching if you're not subscribed subscribe chester says thanks and hi and we'll see you on the next one cheers